Hi you guys, this is Jamie Lola Tallulah and I am here to do a tutorial on how to make a 9x12 clasp envelope um, over in Junk Journal Junkies. If you guys haven't done it, uh, joined over there and you like junk journals, you need to go. But anyway, we are, they are having several swaps where they're using um, 9x12 envelopes and I was looking at a post and they said that they had to use black. I can't remember who said black envelopes and they had gotten them. And I was like, well, what about if you make your own base for your nine by 12 envelope? Because, you know, sometimes you don't want that, you know, manila color, you know, and how much more fun would it be to have your own in your own decorative papers? So I got to thinking, and I'm gonna do a tutorial for you guys. So hopefully you like this tutorial. It's very simple, very easy. All you need is a paper trimmer. You need a scoreboard, your stylus, some kind of adhesive. For the tutorial, I'm gonna use ATG um, tape, but you can, wet glue or strong tape is probably better. And you will need two pieces of 12 by 12, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to make your own envelope. So awesome. Very simple. So first we're going to start with our scoreboard, I mean our cutting, our paper trimmer here. And you're going to take your first 12 by 12. Now, here's a tip. There's two things you have to pay attention to. You have the outside of the envelope and you have the direction of the envelope. So my paper actually has a texture on one side and is smooth on the other. I want the texture side on the outside, so I need to pay attention to that when I'm doing my cutting and my folding and my scoring. Second thing that you need to pay attention to is if you have a pattern. If you have a pattern that has a particular top and a bottom, you have to think about which side is going to be your 12 inch and which side is going to be your nine and think that if you're doing a junk journal remember that you're going to fold it okay so whatever you have and you want to be on the front you have to pay attention to that I'm just going to use this texture paper and the texture part I want out so for my 12 by 12 my first sheet of 12 by 12 I am going to cut at 10 by 12 okay so the first sheet you're going to cut at 10 by 12 okay don't throw away this little piece because we're going to use it. So my first piece is 10 by 12. The next one is going to be 9 by 12 because we want our envelope 9 by 12. So make sure you get this cut because I did this and I cut it at the wrong time. So you want 9 by 12. Make sure you pay attention to how you're orienting. This one is going to be 3 by 12. You're going to use this, so don't throw that away. Okay? All right. So you have a 9 by 12 and a 10 by 12. Using the one that is two inches, yes, make sure I got the right number for you. Yeah, it's two inches by 12. Cut that on the long side here. Can you see this? I don't know. Can you see? Can you see? Okay. So you're going to cut that, this piece here. You're going to cut it at nine inches so it's going to be nine inches long by two inches wide so go ahead and cut that so this will be nine inches by two okay then the one that is three inches you're going to do the same thing you're going to cut it at nine so it'll be a strip that is nine by three okay and then all you have left over are these two little pieces everything else we're going to use okay so we're going to put that away you don't need this anymore. You do need your scoreboard, so let me switch that up. Switch that up, babies. Like I said, simple, simple, easy, easy. Okay, now you have your nine by 12 and your 10 by 12. We're gonna start with the 10 by 12, okay? Now, I want my texture side on the outside, so I'm gonna make sure that it's down. I'm going to score at half an inch. So can you see that? I'm going to score at half an inch. And if you don't like doing this over here, go ahead on this side, score at nine and a half. And then you can just go ahead and flip it around and score it at nine and a half again. And that'll help you out. Okay. So half an inch and nine and a half. Okay. Then take your two inch 
by nine piece. So you have, it's two inches by nine, okay? You're going to put it down this way and score it at one inch. So just do it in half. Okay, this is going to be your bottom flap to close your envelope. Then take your three by nine, put the pattern side down, and you're going to score it at, you can do either half an inch or one inch, depending on how much leeway you want. I'm just going to go ahead and do at um, half an inch. So that way I have a two inch flap. Okay, so score it a half an inch. We're done cutting and scoring, people. Okay, at least with that. Okay, let's go ahead and deal with both of these first. Fold on the score line. Fold on the score line. Okay. For this one, we're going to miter two sets of our, all our corners. So from the score line down, just cut a little piece off, miter your corner, do the same thing over here. Now, you can do a mi little miter corner on each end here, or you can leave it to do a decorative edge when you attach it. So that's what I'm going to do this time, okay? So what you have is something that looks like this. This is your top flap, okay? Your bottom flap, to close the bottom of the envelope, just go ahead and fold it in half and miter the corners. Whoops, I cut it the wrong way, I'm sorry. Go from the outside in. I had it upside down, like that. Whoopsie. Whoopsie. Like that. See there? There you go. Okay. Now, you can put those to the side. And honeys, we are almost done, actually. Take your 10 by 12, where you had your score lines, score them to the inside, fold them to the inside, so that your pattern is on the outside. And then get your nine by 12 ready so that the pattern is up, okay? So you don't wanna misplace that. Now go ahead and put some ATG or glue or whatever adhesive you're gonna use on the folds. Here. And you can do one at a time if you want to, but I'm just gonna do both of them because it was easier for me to do it that way the first time. So I'm just gonna throw some ATG up here. And if you're using it for a junk journal, it doesn't really matter because you're gonna end up covering with paper or something else anyway. Now what I'm gonna do is line up, make sure your pattern is on the outside for your nine by 12. I'm gonna go ahead and line this up on one side, even though I have ATG on both. So just line that up on the fold line. There you go, top to bottom. And so you end up with something that looks like this. So you could actually do this as a file folder, okay? So that's what it looks like on the inside, you would fold it. Now, here's your other fold, okay? You're gonna line it up again, just on the edge, okay? So you're gonna take this, line it up at the top, and line it up as you go. I kind of found it's easier for me if I line it up here and on the edge and then just kind of keep lining it up as you go down. That way if you need to adjust a little bit, you can. Because once you stick it down, okay. And then of course you know your folds are never perfect. So just go ahead and smooth those out, okay. Now, pay attention to which direction you, you're going to want top and bottom, okay? It won't matter on mine because I don't have a pattern, okay? So you'll have to pay attention to top and bottom. So if you want your design to fold to the right, so that's your front cover, then this left side will be your bottom, okay? So that's what we're gonna do here. Take your piece that looks like this, it's your two by nine that you folded in half. Add ATG or whatever adhesive you want to both sides and don't get it right on the fold okay to both sides and the edge make sure you get these corners here get glue on those but don't get it on the fold okay when you do it down the center don't get it on the fold okay very simple you can see the ATG there the tape 
Notice I don't have anything in the center. And you're going to take the whole thing, both sides, and line it up. I don't know if you guys can see that. Line it up to the fold, but don't go on the fold. Just do slightly above it. And then press that down. All right. So look, it's open on the side. Okay. Then on the other side, all you have to do is just fold it over. And there's the bottom. Can you see? The bottom of an envelope. Now, if you want this smaller, you could always do, you know, cut the page smaller or whatever. But so you don't have to do any extra cutting, and you'll probably cover it up anyway. All right, so now here we are with the open side where you would have the flap, okay? So that's your three by nine. And you can choose to do this two ways. You can either put it inside. Now, you can either line it up so that the fold that you put is inside like this okay so you get a look that looks like this where it just folds over or you can put it to the outside which is just easier to glue because you're probably going to cover that up anyway so that's kind of a personal choice if you're going to put it on the inside like this then the glue goes on this edge. I'm just going to put it on the outside because I think it's easier. And like I said, nine times out of ten, I'll be covering it anyway. So we might as well make it easy on ourselves, right? So since I'm going to put that on the outside of my envelope, just like I did this end, I'm going to put the ATG on the inside. And this time, I'm going to turn it this way so I can see it. I'm going to line it up on the short end. Just make sure you pay attention to your pattern if you have one. I don't kind of center it right above the fold line just a smidge put that down okay. so like I said you can put this so that it's on the inside it'll still close but I think this is just easier it's quick fast and hurry okay so now you have this flap if you wanted to you could go ahead and put the little circles and the punches and flap it over um, you could also do a decorative edge so I'm just going to take one of my handy dandy you saw this in a previous tutorial and I'm going to hurry up and punch both ends and now I have a 9 by 12 envelope that I can use. All right, thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, thumbs up and like, share. Um, I now have a Periscope. I don't know what I'm going to do with my Periscope, but it's at Poet Spice. And um, check out my Zibit Shop. If you are interested in other tutorials that you would like to see, just go ahead and leave me some comments below. Thank you. Bye-bye.